Well, 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 with everything now out on the table for the 350 million download celebration, with no real mysteries left when it comes to new units and whatnot, we don't have much to do in terms of anticipation, other than simply running out the clock, doing all the events, and basically wrapping up what has been the best celebration in Dokkan history. But that doesn't mean that Dokkan is over. We got plenty more Dokkaning to do, so what I wanted to do in today's video is look ahead to some of the units that Global has not yet had, but JP has had. And the reason why I'm doing this now is because I remembered this banner right here as part of Part 3, Extreme Z Legendary Summon. This is not a banner you should be summoning on. New players or old players, you should not be summoning on this banner. There is very little value to be had here. The rates are obviously terrible since it's a legendary summon. Take it from me, who had to spend 3,000 stones to get the first copy of the LR Krillin Gohan from the Part 2 banner. So you can imagine how much less value I'm going to be getting from 3,000 stones spent on this stupid banner. Do not summon on this banner if you're a new player or an old player. I understand the impulse wanting to pick up the newest, hottest unit with his EZA, but I'm telling you, you don't need it. It can wait. Go through the motion, do the event, get the medals, get those stones. You don't have to summon the unit if you don't have it. So to help those of you who might be on the fence of this possible situation, I want to look ahead at some of the future banners and some of the future units that are going to be dropping on Global Dokkan in the near future. We'll start with the one that is most heavily considered to be the next Dokkan Festival unit that's going to be dropping on Global. And I'm just going to quickly do a rundown of how the unit looks as well as a brief look at the banner. So we'll start with the banner. This is the Gohan Heavenly Events lead, Gohan Piccolo and Krillin, accompanied by Garlic Jr., one of my most hyped units to summon on. So for me, this is kind of an unusual situation because I'm more hyped for the banner unit than I am for the Dokkan Fest. I've always wanted a Garlic Jr. in the game, and now that I have one, I have to have him. So let's take a look at the banner. This is the JP banner, of course, so that means that it's subject to change on global depending on which units have been around more often than not. So take this with a grain of salt, but we're still going to look at it because, again, I want to tempt some of you guys on some of these banners as opposed to summoning on this stupid banner. So when we're looking at this on the JP side, we've got, I mean, the three standard units right here are Gogeta, Garlic Jr., and Gohan. Gogeta is an excellent unit, and oh man, Turles is back. I love Turles. It's a running joke that I hate Turles because he's everywhere. So let's take a look at the Gohan. This is a nice, this is a nice set of units. I gotta say, uh, the Piccolo and the Gogeta. I'm personally excited for, but the rest uh, are probably a little bit more on the lackluster side. But still, it's a nice, nice looking roster here. Now let's take a look at the unit. What he does. I gotta say right off the bat, Heavenly Events. Not a fan of the category, and uh, not a whole lot to work with here. Simply just in terms of team building outside of maybe the same set of units, like. You could probably build one solid team, and then that's about it. So Heavenly Events is kind of a kind of a weak category, but let's take a look at the unit. Key plus three, 177%, 170, excuse me, for Heavenly Events. Key plus three, 150 for Bond of Master and Disciple. Raises defense, causes immense damage, and medium chance of stunning the enemy. Unit Super Attack. So there's a Link Super Attack that can be activated when there's an ally whose name includes Piccolo or Krillin on the team. It doesn't have to be on the same turn, just on the team. Raises defense, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. For the passive, defense plus 158, attack plus 158 when performing a super attack plus. An additional attack and defense plus 58 when there's another heavenly events category ally attacking in the same turn. Plus an additional attack and def attack plus 58 and stuns the attacked enemy when the performing super attack after receiving an attack. All allies key plus 3, defense plus 58. Lots to digest there. Active skill, recovers 30% HP, guards all attacks for one turn, and allies defense plus 20% for two turns. So the gimmick behind this unit is that he's a really good defensive unit, but can occasionally come out of his shell and launch some pretty heavy attacks. But that's mainly how this unit functions. And it's a nice support because it helps everybody. So you could run any category you want, and you can get a nice support here with the key plus three and defense plus 58. And what's funny is that he's also on planetary destruction. So an odd combination that people took note of when this unit was first coming out on JP was a Broly-Gohan combination, which could be, a, could be a fun pairing. But that's how the unit functions. Uh, overall, I know a lot of people are not too excited about this one, especially given what's coming up this year. We got 
most likely Kid Gohan Garlic Jr. showing up. And then we're probably going to have maybe a maybe a small filler banner or something like that for Halloween. Followed by Dragon Ball Heroes in November. A lot of people have their sights set on Dragon Ball Heroes because we've been inching closer towards a possible Dokkan Festival lead, which would be pretty great. Last year's Hero Celebration was quite awesome, so I expect them to do a similar thing this year. It only gets more hype with Heroes, I feel like, for Dokkan. So who knows what's going to be coming up for Heroes. I feel like more people are going to be inclined to save for that as opposed to the Garlic Jr., and if I had to give my honest opinion, I'd probably advise the same thing. To skip this banner and save up for Dragon Ball Heroes in November. You've probably invested quite a bit already in the 350 million downloads, so you can wait a little bit. Or at least watch someone else summon, let them suffer, you can kind of live vicariously through them. So after November, we're going to be getting something quite magnificent in December, and that is Gogeta. Now this is a big time unit that I am very excited for because this Gogeta, man, look at this banner. What the heck? This is a good looking banner. Uh, this Gogeta is the first of its kind for a new mechanic that I am very much excited for. Plus the animations are magnificent and the music is oh so good. So let's take a look at what this Gogeta does. Just a second, we got Gogeta, Gotenks. We got the Goten and Trunks, I believe. Uh, would this be the first one that they're coming back for Global? Pycon, Gen oh, both together. Pycon and Janemba, Blue Dudes, Gotenks. This is a nice looking, nice looking lineup. A lot of healthy units here, both new and old. So let's take a look at Fusion Reborn, Goku Angel, and Vegeta Angel. Time limit category. And a Connected Hopes lead. So this is going to be the second leader for Connected Hopes. The first being Pycon. A lot of people avoided that summon, rightfully so. So it's funny because now they're both returning on the same banner. So you're going to be getting some sort of a Connected Hopes lead out of all of this, most likely. And then time limit is basically just the fusion category. Like all fusions. Patara and fusion. So this is actually a pretty decent category. So there is a lot more value to be had with this unit as opposed to the Gohan. So let's take a look. Key plus 3, 130% HP, 170% attack and defense. Raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal to the enemy. Raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. That's the ultra super. Attack and defense plus 120, reduces damage received by 30%. High chance of randomly changing key spheres of a certain type to rainbow. Key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack. So, if you are not familiar with this whole debate that happened in the Dokkan community during this time, there was a big argument over which unit was better. This one or the STR Battle of Wits Vegito. Let's continue. Performs Fusion Dance can be activated when HP is 70% or more, starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle. Then when you get to the transformation, we got this beauty right here. Same super attack, raise attack and defense causes Colossal, but for the Ultra Super, raise attack and defense for one turn, causes Mega Colossal and lowers attack and defense. Recovers 30% HP once only, attack and defense plus 150, and attacks effective against all types. Great chance of performing a critical hit. Randomly changes key sphere of a certain type to rainbow, key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere. Key plus 5, reduces damage received by 30%, and foresees enemy super attack for 5 turns from the start of the turn. Nullifies enemy's melee super attack within the same turn when performing an ultra super attack on that enemy. A lot of, lot of stuff going on here, but basically, uh, the fact that this unit is... I'll, I mean, I don't know if it's still a thing now, since it's been a while since JP got this unit. But the fact that there was such a massive, seemingly like a civil war in the Dokkan community over which unit was better, Gogeta or Vegito, that should tell you right then and there, this unit is very good. So, yeah, this is probably something you're going to want to be looking at for your summons, maybe. Obviously, you know, you, you could always say, just wait, just wait, just wait, summon on the next banner, summon on the next banner. But there has to come a point where you just say, enough is enough actually indulge and enjoy yourself from time to time so i'm not telling you to summon on these banners i'm just giving you you know some things to think about just to get the juice flowing in your brain that can hopefully just ensure that you don't summon on this one because nobody should be summoning on this stupid banner all right let's move on so we got gogeta and janemba in december then we got new year's coming up so right around the end of the new year celebration going into the new year we will most likely be getting the super vegeta Super Vegeta is the one that I am most looking forward to because I'm a Vegeta fanboy. Final Flash. Y'all saw my reaction. If you didn't, I'll link it in the description. That Final Flash was, oh, so good. 
So let's take a look at this one real quick. This is a nice banner. Broly, Cell, and Super Vegeta. You got Bojack and Beerus transforming Vegeta. Now that we have the easiest for the transforming units, this Vegeta coming back more and more will probably be less rejected by fans and probably more embraced because people will be anticipating the eventual EZA of that transforming Vegeta. This is a healthy, robust lineup of units, nice categories, nice units overall. I expect this to be relatively the same with a couple changes for Global. But let's take a look at what this Vegeta does. This dude is ridiculous. Let's just take a look at Attained Evolution real quick. This is the new category that he leads. Consists of characters who obtained a new form through training. So, a lot of Gokus, a lot of Vegetas, a lot of good guys. And all the Golden Freezes, obviously, because... He said that he would train for a month, and he did, and he became Laker Frieza. So, sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> Pure Saiyans! We have a new Pure Saiyans lead as well. Probably the biggest get in Dokkan to date. Pure Saiyans has a full-on bona fide Dokkan Festival lead with no stupid attack plus 130 type situation. We have a 170% attack and defense lead for Pure Saiyans with the Super Vegeta. Causes immense damage and performs a critical hit for one turn. What? Attack and defense plus 150 plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 when performing a super attack. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 within the same turn after receiving an attack. Stuns the attacked enemy when performing a super attack. So stuns and crits. Really? That's a lot. And then the Super Vegeta active skill. Key plus 5 attack plus 50 for one turn. Can be activated when HP is 50% or more from the 5th turn of the start of battle. I like this because this is more often what you're going to be getting these days. Having more health after the fifth turn, more likely what's going to be going on for you. Or when there's an enemy whose name includes Cell, except for Cell Jr., after the character receives one or more attacks in battle. That's it. But dude, that's all you need. This guy is a monster. Absolute monster. Amazing categories. Amazing Link set, too. So those are the three units that are going to be showing up in the next few months for global so obviously we still have other things to look forward to like heroes we got the lr step up at the end of the year for those of you who are new to the game i know a lot of people have been joining since the six year and the 350 million downloads so all of you new players might want to summon and catch up the step up at the end of the year is going to be coming up and then the turn of the new year we got the super vegeta a lot of great things in store for dokkan after the 350 million download celebration so a lot of reason to start saving up looking ahead and trying to do con responsibly so that you can conserve some of those resources and dragon stones for these banners and not this stupid banner so hopefully at the end of the day you understand that this banner is one you should completely avoid lr bardock is great his lr is pretty sweet his eza is pretty awesome but you don't need to have him right now if you don't have him do not summon on that banner just to get this guy he's not that good so that's gonna be it guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments out of the three dokkan festival units that i went over real quick which one has you the most intrigued not the one you're gonna summon for but which one looks the most intriguing to you in terms of summon appeal team building overall function on the events that you struggle with what is the unit that you feel would probably help you the most if you were to summon and uh pull them let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have to choose between Kid Gohan or Dragon Ball Heroes, which one are you going to be picking? Let me know that too in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to Dokkan responsibly. Don't summon on that banner, please. Don't do it.